Hey guys, welcome back to Centipede Central. Uh, here we are, another lawn care season is upon us. Just wanted to talk today about um, what you can do kind of coming out of dormancy when the grass is waking up. Mine is actually greening up right now. I've got, it's probably about a third of the way there, I would say. Today is March 11th, so probably by about the 20th to 25th, it'll be pretty much all the way there and greened up depending on you know how cold it gets at night and things like that but the main topic of today's video would be like when to fertilize your lawn your centipede lawn so I know it's kind of tempting to go ahead and as soon as you see green grass to just hit it and uh, but you don't really want to push it like that so I typically wait until about you know mid April to early May before I fertilize my centipede lawn that gives it enough time to naturally wake up to start growing naturally and heating up the soil starts heating up and everything kind of gets going and you don't want to push it and be too aggressive with it like Bermuda Bermuda you could probably hit really immediately after it greens up and just push it and push it and push it but centipede is not like that at all so you got to kind of take it easy and be sensitive to it uh, only fertilize you know two to three times a year depending on how much nitrogen you put down as I mentioned before it only likes about a pound of nitrogen uh, maximum would be like two pounds of nitrogen per year per thousand square feet so I last year I only fertilized one time and it was May 1st and my lawn looked great uh, really kind of one thing I've noticed too coming out of dormancy is I have less weeds this year I had a lot less weeds in like kind of the late winter time uh, February I typically have a lot of hairy bittercress and like chickweed and things like that come out but this year I noticed I had a lot less weeds in the spring now don't get me wrong I do have my fair share of weeds but uh, I noticed in February that it was a lot less and I wonder if going so low on the nitrogen last year really helped that issue you know weeds grow with nitrogen just as much as grass does so if you're going really low nitrogen throughout the course of the year, I found I'm thinking that's the reason why I didn't have as many in like February time frame. But I'm trying to find some information on that to, to see if that could be the case. But that's the first thing that comes to mind uh, in my situation. But really the things you want to be doing right now as it greens up is soil building. So putting down some kind of carbon product, whether that's granular humic acid or biochar or like uh, some kind of mycorrhizal fungi you know get things that get the soil kind of it's time to kind of tell it to all right let's start resetting the year and and get going in a good direction for the year so I'm just bag mowing as well it's still not growing really but I do like to do a bag mow to kind of suck up all the debris that's been going on throughout the course of the winter. Uh, the grass is kind of like uh, matted down and dormant, so I find that bag mowing in a low setting really helps it to heat up faster as the weather starts changing and just gets things off to a good start. Try to stay off weed killers also this time of year. As it's greening up, you want to just kind of leave it alone, let it do it, let nature take its course. Atrazine could be applied before green up, but during, right now I'm in Alabama and during this phase, I don't want to touch atrazine right now because it's greening up, it's kind of sensitive during that time. It'll kind of set your, it'll set it back a little bit if you hit it with weed killer during this transition time. So I typically wait for atrazine like uh, probably around well well after green up so sometime in april or may i'll hit it with atrazine or i may just do a post emergent application of celsius i haven't decided fully yet what i'm going to do for my weeds this year but those are great options for the centipede lawn and also saint augustine i'll be coming out with some more videos i haven't posted in a while and uh, thank you guys for being patient with me um, but i'll try to get more content out this year i'm looking forward to it and hope you guys have a good uh, spring take care